To construct a square inside of a circle, first we'll need a circle. So let's go ahead and create one. Mark your center. Create a decent sized circle. Remember we're creating a shape inside of it, so we need to have some room to work. I'm going to make mine with a 2 inch radius. There we go. There's my circle. Now, since we have the center, if I put a point out here, anywhere I want on my circle, I can connect that point on the circle to the center and create a radius. Or, if I keep going and go all the way through, I'm going to create a diameter. The diameter is actually what I need right now. Here, I have a diameter. I've chopped my circle exactly in half so that this size or this side is the exact same size as that side, or congruent. Now, I have two endpoints here uh, on my circle. So if I spin my paper here, what I have is a nice little line segment. If I do my bisector construction and bisect this segment, I'm going to bisect it, which means I'm going to create a line right through this middle, right through the center. It's also going to be 90 degrees, which is exactly what I need, so that it'll chop my circle into four even pieces. Go ahead and do the bisector construction. Line up the brass ring with one of the endpoints on your circle. Go beyond halfway across your line segment that you're trying to chop in half, or bisect, and make a little arc above, a little arc below. Remember which setting you used. For me, it's the two and a half mark here. Come to the other end here. Brass ring on the end point. Same thing. Two and a half mark. Two and a half mark. I have a crisscross above and below my line that I'm trying to bisect. If I connect the two points, just like so, I'm going to have that perpendicular bisector which gives me two more endpoints out on my circle. Now I have four of them, and they're all evenly spaced around my circle, which means if I connect the four of them, I'm going to end up with a nice square that goes inside the circle. And if you guys notice, those two diameters that we drew in there, those create the diagonals of the square. Just an extra little fact. And there's your square inside of a circle.